Hello friends, my name is Kishan and this is the continuation of my previous video tutorial. There we had created this project and I wanted to show you if we do not handle transaction then what wrong thing will happen. So let's start the coding wherever I had left this one. So here in doll layer basically first of all I need to complete it. So we have a withdraw method, right? So withdraw method, so whatever amount we want to withdraw from the source account. So this account, basically from account, we need to retry from the database first. So I'd say get account from DB method. And here I'll pass uh, account number to this method. And try to with the this account information from the database. So this is a private method. So this method I will put in the last section of this class. And here basically account number, right? And now we have a SQL query to retrieve this account information from the database. So this query and we have a get JDBC template dot here I'm going to use query for object. So if you search query for objects, you'll get several overloaded method. So here basically while looking into a SQL query, SQL query contains a one placeholder or input parameters. So and my SQL query is going to return a custom object right so here basically we have given void but I'm going to change the return type this guy so this guy will return us the account from the database so and same we can assign to the here right now SQL query first parameter the SQL query and second parameter I'm going to define new and I say account row mapper and this account row mapper already I have created so let me show you the account row mapper so I have created a separate class account row mapper which implements row mapper interface which contains a map row a callback method which takes two parameters result set and row number and here explicitly I have created a uh, account object and basically we are retrieving the uh, value for every column from the result set and setting into my this model class and finally this callback method is returning this account object so this method will be called by the spring framework automatically so whenever, whenever you call this API by a query for object by passing this uh, uh, account row mapper so this map row method will be called automatically and third parameter we have to pass account number so this will read the account details from the database and same I'm going to return over here so directly this statement you can, you can write return but for better understanding just I have split it into several lines now we got the account details from the database now we need to deduct current balance by this much amount right so I would say uh, double and I would say account balance equal to get account balance and you will have to deduct uh, this account balance by this much amount right now we'll have to write second query now we'll have to fire a update query on this account so with update query we have a update update ICSA bank set account balance equal to question mark and 
account number equal to question mark. So get JDBC template again. You will have to use here again. I'm going to use update method. So and if you go to the see update method, then there are a lot of overloaded method. So I'm going to use this one. So first we'll take the SQL query itself. And second parameter is the where are there you can pass multiple uh, zero or many parameters. So from if you see from the left, then first comes account balance. So this account balance you will have to pass and second account number you will have to pass, right? So from account dot get account number right so that will have to pass and here you will have to check a turn type of this guy is update so if you check if update sorry update greater than zero means how many rows is going to affect by this sql query this count is going to return so basically here basically we are just updating the one row so definitely this is going to return one so one is greater than zero so we can print a one message so account or you can say amount rupees whatever amount is coming amount is trans Third from account number so this account to number and here I have a two account dot get account number so just a, it's a meaningful message so amount rupee jitna is transferred from account number this to this account number right so now for deposit uh, almost we are will have to write the same sql query and so i'm just going to copy paste this code so update now you can have a again account balance in the case of deposit account balance again this uh, account will have to retry from the database right so to account wherever you want to deposit the money that account will have to retry from the database right so once you retry then you will have to update this account right so here you will have to basically add that amount right because we are going to uh, deposit now account balance and rest of the code almost will be same right now account balance and here you will have a instead of from account you will have a to account so we are doing a lot of copy paste so uh, be careful and if message will have to pound so print amount this much is deposited deposited in in account number to account right so amount this much is deposited in account this here basically from account we are not making use of anything so that's fine now so there are a lot of scope for refactoring over here so those things we'll see later so here just i want to see the happy flow right 
so let's go ahead and create a client project so here let's create a client project and I will give the name of the client class test and from here let's create a abstract application context and ctx equal to new class path xml application context and here we'll have to pass the name of the spring configuration file which is present in your source folder now these things we'll have to close it so basically resources we should always close in the try uh, catch uh, sorry finally block but directly i'm closing over here so you should take care about these things these things always should be closed inside the finally block so now let's get bin method so if you go for the get bin there are a lot of several overloaded method so i'm going to use this get bin method so i would like to retrieve the my service bin so this is my service bin and what is the service class so this is our service class right so let's retrieve this bin and this bin we can retrieve in this way so we got the service here left side left side you can assign a interface type right so we can import over here so we got the service bin bank service and once you got the bank service then bank service has a method is called fund transfer this funds transfer asking you to supply three arguments so from account from account first of all we will have to create equal to new account and from account basically i'm going to set account number and if by looking in the database from account i'm going to set this account so it's a long so open norel and similarly we have a two account right so two account we will have to specify sorry two account and two account wherever you want to deposit your money so that's your two account and this is our two account right and amount how much you want to withdraw so let's say 1000 bucks you want to withdraw right so this way we can make call to the our service layer and service layer is making call to the doll layer so let's go for the happy flow first scenario so basically here i want to uh, withdraw money from this account and same amount we want to deposit in the other account so i think the flow is almost clear from here client program we are making call to the service layer and from service layer we are making call to doll layer right and everything seems to be fine so let's run this uh, client program and here we got some exception what's the exception we got column account holder name not found so let me check out what account holder name is really not is there account holder name why this guy is saying so if you go to the account row mapper then okay so some special character by mistake i have typed 